So if you look at, well, let's look at block two, okay? And if we, so if you want to look at the reports, I'm going to do this, and that's going to give, a, give us a question by question breakdown, okay? So the one we just identified was um, 12, and um, I think 14, you were right? Yes. Um, and then 15. But then I see some question like 5 and 6 that are writing algebraic equation that were low. So maybe that would be good if we looked at that. Okay, so let's go open the assessment. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. When I say my tracker, is that I'm getting more than 100, or am I half a mile of the speed? But it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, that could be. But I'm getting like a total of like 180 speeds. So that could be, that's now she has three trackers there, so it's hers and yours. Wouldn't we have more than the total number? I don't know. Are all of ours combined? No, because you have your own Mastery Connect, right? You have your own Mastery Connect, so you should have... Now, there's a PLC one that you can look at, but if you look block by block, just at yours, what I would do, I would start block by block, and what my, what I will do with her, I start by the weakest block, look at what the data says there, and then from there, I would look at the higher block, and if anything can be taken away, and if, if not, you know, your lesson could apply to everybody else, if that makes sense. But start with your lower block, it'll tell you quite a bit. So two, um, what did I say was? Five and six, right? Five and six. Mm -hmm. So five and six. Thank you. Which of the following expressions represents the number in less than 12? What do you think they did? Before they we put, put They put 12 minus n. They put 12 minus n, right? Because they see the 12 before the n. Uh -huh. the same thing. Right. right. So let's go and check. Mm hmm Yep. So that would be really good to insert. What do you what do you anticipate could be ways that we could reteach that or remodel that so that they can get it? Just giving examples of why we went and put a number that we don't know versus a number that we do see. So, hmm. we so for to, example, like what? I would say um, I would give this example with the money, the hundred dollar bill, saying okay, we wanted three dollars less than. 100, we wouldn't say 97 minus 100 is going to give us $3. Mm -hmm. We would say 100 minus 97 is giving us $3 less than mm -hmm. 100. Good. So why don't we insert, that could be a data-driven warm-up, that, mm -hmm. that one right here. Yes. Or um, there's another one a little further that is very similar. Okay. It's right, um, I think it's 15. Okay. No, it's not 15. It's... Uh, seven and it's the same idea but we can totally start with five yes, um and see how many of them do it again and do the yes. show of hands again mm -hmm. from the beginning see who picked and then one. and then use that example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we can even make a visual for that so that that's a good one we'll put in our lesson plan okay um we haven't put any practice problem um with that that uh, pemdas on the right we right. we did one like that the other day the 12th uh, we haven't done like 14 with the fractions, so that right. would be a good one to have in our practice time. Um, but then we could do some also that have the minus a plus b without okay. the parentheses, because right. that's a mistake we saw a lot. Right. So what I, what we could do is we could make a data-driven warm-up, but then after this we could build a practice mm -hmm. that has just a collection of these questions, yes. since they did the correction the other day. And give them a chance to go maybe with partners, and then we can correct and see correct who, together. who got it, right? What do you yes, think? So I let's look at six. What um, what do you think uh, trick them with which six? Which of the following represents four times the sum of n and six? The four times.